Hey YouTube, this is user Music Freak CC, and I just wanted to say thanks very much for, yes that's right, over a thousand subscribers, a little belated, but thanks nevertheless, and in addition, um, over four and a half million video views, it's a bit early, but, you know, uh, it's YouTube's fifth anniversary, might as well get it, get this video uh, done. Anyways, you might notice I'm not as camera shy as I used to be. Well, I kind of got over that. And in addition, um, in addition, you know, my parents know about this hobby. I could care less now. But anyways, let's go over, uh, you know, the last few years. I'm approaching actually three years of elevator filming uh, coming up in uh, September. So basically, I got started um, back when I was a uh, freshman, and excuse me, uh, I would have been a junior in high school. And it was uh, fall. I was just one day on a weekend searching uh, around YouTube, came across uh, Gluce's, some of Gluce's videos, and I literally spent the whole day just watching nothing but his vid but his videos, and I liked them so much. I wanted to uh, start filming elevators, and. Uh, Later, I came across uh, videos from a couple of other users, um, including uh, Matthew Gregan, uh, Jordan G4 Tech, uh, and also, uh, and also, of course, Andrew Diesel Ducey. So, you know, I originally started by uh, filming the elevators at the uh, Weston Peachtree Plaza, the uh, Hyatt Regency, Marriott Marquis Hotels in downtown Atlanta. And, I have a Dover Buzz ringtone. Anyways, um, I got started then, branched out um, to, to other places around the uh, metro Atlanta area. Uh, when I got started, I didn't have a driver's license, so yeah, I pretty much had to rely on my parents and uh, Marta to get me around. So sure enough, I got my driver's license and got around, got the other places as well. And, uh, you know, it it's um it's been quite an experience uh i've actually only once have i ever been told not to film only once still and that was at, just when i was getting started at atlantic station a security guard came up to me and told me it was private property i can't film there so i put my camera away and later i saw um and later I saw them, like, you know, going after people taking pictures of the Christmas trees. I mean, you know, there's shoplifting going on. There are, there have been actually a few shootings at Atlantic Station. There have been car jackings. Well, not car ja any car jackings, but there have been a few break-ins. Car break-ins. And security's going after people taking pictures of Christmas trees. I mean, what idiots. Anyways, anyways, uh, still, it's it's been quite an experience, um, nevertheless. And you know, I've met uh, a few people on the along the way as well, and I've uh, made some great friends. Well, now that I've uh, gotten this video over with, um, you know, it's YouTube's fifth anniversary, and it's really quite amazing how they've changed the landscape of uh, social media. It really is. Of course, you know, we have, of course, YouTube, as it, as does any place on the internet, has plenty, is never in short supply of idiots. That's to be expected, though. Of course, the city of Atlanta is, once again, when it comes to drivers, they are never in short supply of idiots. Doesn't matter what age, doesn't matter what anything, Chances are you're an idiot behind the wheel if you are this if you are in Atlanta. I can say that, um, which com relates to uh, the next part of this video. Um, to give you an update, basically, uh, I went to uh, RIT for the fall quarter. My whole college lifestyle kind of not overwhelmed me a bit, so I came back to. Um, I uh, went to Georgia State University for a semester. Had a commute to downtown Atlanta every day, hour drive, 
going at the 45 minutes back. Not too much fun. But nowadays I'm, uh, now that finals have, are long over, uh, right now I'm uh, pretty busy in the office. I'm a computer programmer studying uh, computer science. And I'm headed back to RIT uh, come next fall. So hopefully, you know, I could get a few places up there, but I'll be very busy still um, there. In terms of travel plans, uh, I'm going to Rochester either next or next week or the following week. I might be I might see Jim's Jimster 586. I might I probably won't because I'm going to be extremely busy. Um, July for two weeks, I'm going down to Florida. I'm going over to Mississippi on a group trip, going to Roanoke to see uh, Andrew, and then at the beginning of September, going up to uh, RIT. And I might make a side trip. Toronto is only two and a half hours away. I might make a side trip over to Toronto. But we'll have to see. Anyways, why don't I give you a little tour of my desk here? Over there you see uh, two Lassie hard drives. That's a uh, actually a dual band beam. Uh, 440 elements are on, 2 meter elements are detached. I have my radio, an ICOM IC 2200H. Three or four minutes out of Carrollton right now on the north side. Joystick, uh, Kenwood THF-6. This is my unit end scanner. The telesco telescoping antenna. And for show, it's a, this is my mobile antenna. Normally on top of my car. I never operate like this inside. Just because I uh, don't have a ground plane. Elsewhere, around my desk, this is an... This was actually a gift to me from Jimster586, this mammoth abloy padlock. It actually weighs more than my... Actually, this padlock actually weighs more than the, my computer. It's basically a chunk of steel. And this is a rare uh, vintage best padlock given to me by none other, none other than Diesel Ducey. Green chem dye. Best Metro Sewage District. A few amateur radio badges. Nope, I'm not showing my call sign because I've had death threats. JPL uh, Creature 2 speakers. I have a PS3 controller. Uh, uh, mostly to uh, play uh, NES games on my computer. I like how it has uh, Bluetooth. Although the battery doesn't last too long. But, uh, well, NES, uh, Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo. I grew up with the Genesis and uh, Super Nintendo. So that brings back a lot of memories. And over here, I'll show you. Well, we don't have any lights. For any amateur radio operators who are just curious, this is the antenna I do use. This is a 5 8 wave, collinear ground plane, with the radios there. About 9 feet tall, goes up to the top of the attic. I have a cheapo grounding system, which is uh, just not... I just, I just ground, grounded through the uh, house power, which is... Uh, this house is very, very well grounded. We've had two. We've had the lightning hit the house twice, and nothing damaged. That's how. Of course, we have a lightning rod. <laughs> that's 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 why. So um. Yeah, we have. I have that protection, and then from RF, I just use the. Uh, no, actually, I I do use a lightning rod's ground, grounding system. I forgot about that. But anyways, uh, that's about it. And once again, thanks for five years of YouTube, uh, almost three years of elevator videos, and also 
um, four and a half million, four and a half million video views and over a thousand subscribers. Actually, thousand forty-six last time I checked. Anyways, thanks.